Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Zim's Beer Review. I'm your host, Garrett Zimmer. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for streaming with me. Thank you for following on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. However you uh, follow the stream and the podcast, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, Today we got another Wyoming beer. The beer we are going to be reviewing today is Melvin's Hubert MPA. Um, The MPA, if you're used to it, you might think it's an IPA. The MPA is just a Melvin Pale Ale. They're, this is what Melvin's Brewing Company says this is what a pale ale should be. So it's not an IPA. It's not an APA. This is a Melvin PA. So <clears throat> really excited to try this one. I've had Melvin's, uh, a lot of other Melvin beers in the past. They're a Wyoming brew. I don't know if I said that already. They're from Wyoming, and I love everything that I've had from them. They are they make phenomenal beer, so I I know this one's going to be good. I really enjoy IPAs, so I'm really excited to try this, knowing this is what they think an IPA should taste like. They're calling it their MPA, but <clears throat> really excited to try this. So we're going to go and open it. <clears throat> Normally, I would be using my handy-dandy opener, but as you can see, if you're following on YouTube or Twitch, on the live stream we actually are in a can today so let's go ahead and open this up get a good sound there so we're going to pour this out as i'm pouring it i get a really blonde color really light in color almost looks like a hef uh but it's filtered really light really golden yellow color to it um, as I pour it, I didn't even smell it yet, and I can already smell it just sitting next to it. This has a really, it has a really fruity smell to it. It instantly hit me with like the citra hops that I'm assuming they made it, that they brewed this with. I don't, I haven't read the the can. I should say I haven't read the can, but it it sure smells, it sure smells like they use citra hops. <clears throat> uh, about a three quarter of an inch to an inch head on this. Really gold yellow in color it looks like it's it's similar to a a hefeweizen if you're used to that but filtered it doesn't have that cloudy aspect to it It looks like a wheat beer uh minus the cloudiness so we'll go ahead and give this give this a try it's definitely an ipa definitely has a lot of hops in it i taste the hops but they're not overpowering i taste the alcohol content on this Got to pull up the can to see what we're at. We're sitting at 6% alcohol. That's pretty average. Maybe a little on the low end for an IPA. Um, But it does taste a lot like an IPA. It does not disappoint in the IPA department. It is uh, right in line with what you would expect from an IPA. It has that hop characteristic. It has that uh, floral, fruity flavors uh, while you're drinking it. <clears throat> really, really fruity, uh, but has the, the background of hops the whole time. Really good balance, actually. It's not bitter. I don't know what the, the IBUs are on this. I've had, <clears throat> I've definitely had more bitter IPAs previously. This has a, a, a little bit. A little bit of bitterness, about as much as you'd want in an IPA. It doesn't have, it's it's not overwhelming with the bitterness. It has it there. You know it's an IPA. It has that flavor. It has that mouthfeel. It has the fruitiness, but it's not overwhelming at all. The head's already died down on this. It, it smells like hops when I smell it. I'm, I, I do a lot of home brews, and so I'm pretty used to the hop smell. My wife, not so much. Every time I brew, she complains about the hop smell throughout the house. But uh, this definitely smells like hops. It has that citra or mosaic hops. If you're familiar with brewing, that's really what this smells like. I'd have to, I'd have to really dig into their brew process to see exactly what they put in it. But that'd be my best guess. It has that fruitiness. It's really light, uh, floral scent to it, and it tastes the same way. 
okay, while I sip on this, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know a little bit more about the Melvin Brewing Company. That's a great beer. That's honestly a really good IPA. Um, so the Melvin Brewing Company is from Wyoming, like I mentioned. They are actually from a small, small town called Alpine, Wyoming. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with uh, the layout of Wyoming in general. But Alpine is about as far west as you can get without going into Idaho. We're talking right on the edge. <clears throat> they are southwest of Jackson, Wyoming, which is a say the the closest big city that anyone's going to know about south of uh, Grand Teton National Park there. Right on the edge. I think Alpine is right on the Snake River. I would not be surprised if they brew their beer with water from the Snake River. That would make a lot of sense. It's probably why they chose that location. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I usually don't stop right in the middle of a review, but this is a, a really good beer. I I really enjoy that. Um, so Melvin Brewing, like I said, they're from Alpine, Wyoming. The uh, the one we're reviewing today is called the Hubert Melvin Pale Ale. This is what it says on their website about this exact beer. It says, this is Melvin's version of what a pale ale should be. Flavors of citrus and pine lead the way to a boutique of tropical fruit. Brewed with two row C15 and hopped with CTZ Simcoe and Citra hops. So it does have Citra in it. Um, it does not have the mosaic like I expected, but it does have the uh, the Citra. So it, 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 it tastes that way. It really does. <clears throat> so they are a, a small brewery, relatively small, um, but they have won a lot of awards. Going through their page here, they have gold medal after gold medal. The beer we're reviewing today, this Hubert, this won a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival in 2017. Uh, they had another beer win a gold medal at the same festival, a different one, their Fresh Hop IPA. They won a gold medal for this same beer at the American Canned Craft Beer Festival. And that's just in 2017. Excuse me, this beer is extremely carbonated. Go back to 2016, it's just award after award uh you got gold medal uh number two brewery of 2016 they got a gold medal gold medal for their cherry bomb beer they got another gold medal for well two more for two other beers they got a bronze medal it it just goes on and on with the awards that they have won from their beers and it's obvious why these beers are extremely well made uh normally i I wouldn't say I stray away from it, but I would expect beers to be better in bottles rather than cans. And I have only ever seen Melvin's beer in cans. So that just goes to show either I'm totally wrong <laughs> in expecting beers to be better in a bottle than a can, or Melvin knows what they're doing when they brew. And this one is a, a, a really good example of that. I did not know that they won these awards prior to us uh, trying this today. I'm just going through their website with you guys. And I totally see why. I try this beer. I think it's great. I look at their site, and it's winning gold medals on gold medals. It's like the Michael Phelps of beers over here. <clears throat> so highly, highly um, they win a lot of awards. <laughs> so as far as Melvin Brewing goes, they have three different brew pubs slash restaurants um, available right now. Their very first one is actually inside of a restaurant. They started inside of a restaurant in Jackson, Wyoming, the city I mentioned. It's a big ski town in uh, the Teton Mountains. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it. In Jackson, at a restaurant called Tie Me Up, T-H-A-I, Tie. Uh, Tie me up. Obviously, a Thai restaurant makes sense, uh, but it's a Thai restaurant slash brew house with fantastic craft beer. Uh, really odd collaboration, but worked. I mean, they 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 started making beer there. 
it expanded from there. They have another uh, brew, or uh, they call them brew pubs in Bellingham, Washington, and they have another one in Alpine, Wyoming, that they call the Mothership Tap Room. But that's where they actually brew all their beer, so it makes sense that they'd have one there. Uh, so they have those three right now. Uh, <clears throat> moving on from there, from that, I'm going to read you a little uh, blurb that they have on their homepage, melvinbrewing.com. I'm going to go ahead and put that link in the description down below this video. I'm also going to put it in the description of the podcast. So if you're listening or watching, check the description. You'll get Melvin's uh, specific website. You can go check them out. They're also on Twitter. I want to say at Melvin Brewing. Um, but check check the description. You will you'll find it in there. Uh, right on their website, this is a, a direct quote from Melvin Brewing. Quote, we put a metric shit ton of hops in our beer and ferment and dry hop them longer than most. Do we mention we start with a full lab to check consistency and quality on an hourly basis? Who does that? Who, <laughs> who does that? Would you look at that? Sometimes you just got to look at that. Would you look at that? They're, uh, just from going through their website, I can tell they're a bunch of, it's just like fun loving. It's like, they're having fun doing this. They're having a blast making this beer. They're not holding themselves to this uh, high standard. They're having fun brewing it. They're brewing the beers they like. And I think that shows in the awards they're winning. They're not meticulous in how they do it, but the beer is coming out great. They're doing what they want to do, and they're making great beers, and they're winning awards. And people like me and hopefully people like you are giving them a try and realizing that they're they're making really good beer. So <clears throat> I just wanted to read you guys that. I thought that was kind of funny. I did want to let you guys know about the beers they do offer. Uh, their tap room that they have, I want to say it's the tap room in what they call their mothership tap room in Alpine, Wyoming. They have 20 beers on tap. Now, after looking into it a little bit, Melvin does not have 20 beers. I'm going to assume, because I've never been there, they have all of their beers on tap, plus a lot of regulars that you'd find anywhere. The Coors Light, Bud Light, uh, maybe Blue Moon, stuff like that. But they probably have all their beers on tap because that's where they brew it. But they got a little bit of everything for everybody. They clearly uh, strive to make these IPAs and they do a really good job at it because they have multiple IPAs or similar beers on their taps. Excuse me. Um, they have what they call the two by four. It's a double IPA. That is one that I've had in the past. For a double IPA, I remember it being delicious. I had it at a tasting at my local liquor store. Ended up buying a six pack of it. They have the Melvin IPA, which we mentioned earlier. It won another award, probably gold, <laughs> but that's another IPA. The Hubert IPA that we're trying today, which they're calling their MPA. They're calling it the Melvin Pale Ale. They got another one that they call Killer Bees, which is their blonde ale. I have had that one in the past as well. It's really smooth, blonde ale. They, it's done really well. They have another one that they call the Hey Zeus, and it's not spelled like you would expect. <laughs> it's spelled H-E-Y-Z-E-U-S, Hey Zeus, and it's uh, their Mexican-style lager. I've had this one as well. I do want to review this beer on an upcoming review, so keep your eye out, Melvin. Keep your eye out, everybody who's interested. It is a Mexican-style lager. It's up there. It's competing with the Modelos, the Coronas, the Dos Equis that style and it was done really really well and it's in a can which is really interesting if you think about it i think maybe lately corona has been putting some of their beer in cans but for the most part mexican style lagers the good ones at least are in bottles uh but this one's in a can i mentioned the can thing earlier they're doing something right over there <clears throat> and then finally they have uh their rotational Imperial IPA. They call it the RIIPA. And uh, I've never had that one. I've never seen that one. I've never had the chance to try that one. Uh, Melvin, if you're listening, 
hit me up. Send one to me. Let me review it. I have not heard of all of your other ones I have heard of or seen, but I have not seen or heard of that one. So let me know. Send me one. I'll review it. Uh, work out for both of us. So overall, this beer is a, a phenomenal IPA. If you're looking to get into IPAs, I would actually say this is a good one to try to get into it. Um, I think I have another review previously of a different IPA. I want to say it was the Elysian Space Dust that was a great IPA, but it was a little hoppy for the average person to try and learn about IPAs. This is a good introductory one. So if you're looking for one to try, looking for one to get into it, highly recommend this one. It was really smooth. It's hoppy, not too hoppy. It smells like the floral, fruity scents that you would expect with an IPA. It's a really good interpretation of what an IPA should be. And that's <laughs> it's exactly what it says on their, on their uh, can here, that this is Melvin's interpretation of the perfect pale ale. And I think they nailed it. So highly recommend this one. Got to give it a try. If you want to learn more about Melvin, go to melvinbrewing.com. Check the description of this video. Check the description of this podcast. I will link it down below. If you want to find their Twitter, check that. I want to say it's at Melvin Brewing. Um, and as always, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at Zim's Beer Review. I'm also on YouTube at the same name, Zim's Beer Review. If you want to get a hold of me, send me an email, comments, anything like that. If you want to get a hold of me, send me an email at Zim's Beer Review at gmail.com. And, uh,